Hey there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver. I'm chatting with one of our members. Katie is co-founder of Anderson Atwood Consulting and CEO of Katie Anderson Coaching. She is certified John Maxwell coach and CECI certified sales trainer Woo! and co-author of the book, Winning Sales Attitude. So she has a lot of really great resources to share lots of things up in that brain that we're going to try to um, get a few nuggets from today. And what we're going to focus on in this chat is sharing for those that have employees, how can you, especially in this moment when it's the people that work with you are the most essential asset that you have, how can you strengthen that relationship with them? How can you best manage, lead, and retain your employee team? So Katie, I'm really happy to hear from you. Tell me a little bit about um, what your top tips are for that topic. Yeah, absolutely. So Crystal, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. You know, um, when you when you're asking a little bit about what can we do for employees or, or how to help with this area, I definitely am passionate about that. I think, um, you know, for me, there's a few things outside the box, I definitely like to touch on to, to say any employer can definitely think about this, these things as well as any, um, anyone in management or HR or anything. And so um, on paper, Typically, what I do is I help businesses kind of leveraging um, outside the box strategies when it comes to insurance vehicles and, you know, just kind of how do we increase profitability for the business. And one of the focus points for me, especially, is thinking about one of the biggest assets for a business is or probably should be their employees their team, the people that are really driving their organization. And we really sit down and say, what can we do to increase a lot of what you said, which is you know, the attraction of employees, the retention of employees, and also employee morale during a time that's really challenging. So a couple of tips that I have on that would be, number one, to really rethink how you view employee benefits. And what I mean by that is not every business, especially small businesses, not every business is able to say, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm able to offer every single benefit under the sun. I can't necessarily offer all that. Well, sometimes we can rethink our benefit strategy and say, maybe we can look at some creative benefits to offer, but what about also rethinking benefits to say, what else could benefit my employees? And one of the things that we do that's a little bit different is we think we actually reframe things like leadership training and development, sales coaching for sales teams, and the idea of bringing in a third party, and we do this complimentary from our, our consulting firm, to, to do offer a, um, a training that allows the employees to feel more confident in their skill set, in their leadership abilities, which can help drive your organization. So one tip that I have is to think outside of just benefits being just dental and vision and health insurance and things like that, but thinking, what can I do to bring value to my employees through coaching or training or teaching them skills that can make them better at their job, therefore increasing the bottom line for you? So that's one area that I definitely, definitely look at for that. You know, a second thing that I sometimes talk to business owners about is the idea about actually asking the employees what they're looking for in a benefits package. Now, they can't necessarily afford everything all the time. So one of the things that, that my consulting company does, and this is something that any, um, any business can do as well, is really have a conversation with the employees and ask them what matters to them, right? Because then you're actually getting their input on what benefits matter. Some people might have dealt with cancer in the past and they very much would value to have something to protect them in that area. Some people, maybe they definitely are looking for health insurance or people saying, I wish I could have legal services. So whether it's through an organization like us or that business owner, really talk to your employees and find out what it is that matters to them. So that would be something I definitely would recommend is just saying, rethink benefits a little bit, get outside the box, and then try to understand what matters to your employees because we've seen that that makes a tremendous difference. Those are really amazing tips. And I love the fact that you suggest talking to them and finding out what their real what the real things are that they're struggling with and needing support with. I, um, I've worked in many years at companies where I was responsible for things like employee engagement. And when I was in that role, a lot of what people always thought engagement was, was just having fun, throwing parties and, you know, having nice things for, for them. And it could be just little dinners, you know, lunches and dinners and things like that. Um, but 
today, I think we're going a little bit deeper. Some of the things, the conversations that I see, there are things that employers could help with that might even be cheaper than hiring someone to full time, you know, have fun events or or buy people lunches and things like that. But you can actually just create um, partnerships, maybe get them, you know, some sort of partnership with Nano or something like that, where they can get a few hours of babysitting each month that can help or, you know, helping them, you know, with tutoring or helping them with, um, you know, something for taking care of self-care. I mean, people forget about themselves. So I, that is really, you know, get delving into some deeper creativity versus just assuming that people just want lunch or, saying, well, since we're not in the office and there's no free snacks, I guess I can't do anything fun for the, for the, for the folks who work for us anymore, but there are things you can still do. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I think one of the things right now is that a lot of, a lot of employers are, are really wanting to make sure that they either are able to hang on to the employees that they have while everybody's going through these changes and this sort of uncharted territory. But then also a lot of businesses are really struggling from what I've seen from the businesses that talk with me to say, you know, I'm really trying to find good employees, trying to find some talented people and, and sometimes getting creative and stay, standing outside of just the norm really kind of, kind of helps a lot. And a lot of times employees, what we've seen across the, across the board is that employees are more likely to be attracted to a business organization or stay with that business if they feel appreciated, if they feel that they're the business owner or that, that organization cares about them and values them. And so I think sometimes, you know, we get so busy in the day-to-day -day operations. We think, okay, well, I have my employees, they're doing their thing, it's fine. And maybe just kind of taking a look and, and having those conversations can really open up a lot of a lot of direction that they might not have realized. And, you know, I've sometimes talked to business owners that that tell me about what they're doing and then they really think it's a it's a great strategy and a great plan, but it turns out just a small little pivot and the employees would have been ecstatic. You know, we've um We've actually done some employee appreciation events that are centered around things like wellness and, and you know, just education and things like that, that we see employees, whether it's motivational stuff or whether it's actual just knowledge, things like this, that the employees are so receptive to it um, on top of just incorporating, yes, of course, maybe they do want the dental and the vision and the life insurance, fine, but this really kind of gives a more holistic approach to that. Cause as you've seen, you work with so many business owners as well. It's, it's a very, a very weird time right now. And a small businesses especially are just trying to say, how can I push through this and move forward? Nice. Well, thank you for all those suggestions and thoughts. Um, how can people get more information, follow you and maybe look to you for a consultation? Absolutely. So um, Anderson Atwood Consulting, um, if they go to www.andersonatwood.com, um, they're able to see a lot of what we do there. Um, if there are individuals that maybe want more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me specifically around um, business consulting and things like that, katieandersoncoaching.com, I do that as well. So we really kind of work the two businesses together to make sure that we're, we're really providing what, what our clients are needing. Excellent. Well, I'll provide both those links in my posts and I look forward to keeping in touch and learning more about your perspectives. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Crystal. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.